Hello, it's Sarah. So I decided I'd uh, show you guys how I'm going to do this um, pewter Christmas ornament. So I just found this little wooden embellishment in my Christmas bucket and thought, oh, that's a cute little face. And I just traced it out on some tracing paper. And now I have taped that down. I also used my big three inch punch and this cut right through the pewter like butter, like bam, not even, I mean, I've had a worse time with certain papers. So um, hopefully he's lined up pretty straight, but the first thing I need to do is just lightly trace, and I'm on the back side of the pewter right now. I think I'm going to, um, see, I'm, I'm new at this, but I did just order a um, kit from Alicia's website, Alicia Hart, and um, hoping that it'll come along with some good directions. And um, I also bought some copper. I ordered some copper because you can cut holes in, like I could cut away this piece and lay copper behind it. That's how you get the two-tone look. So um, looking forward to trying that. All right, so all I did was that one. See, I think I'm only gonna put two holly berries on here um, because I just don't know how it's gonna sit. I'm gonna put one over here. Um, I just watched another one of Alicia, Alicia's videos and I, I didn't realize that it had anything to do with um, pewter. Uh, and it, it it was involved cutting the um anywho i'll come back with something um about that once i'm doing it this is just a real basic and i'm not pushing too hard i just want to get an idea of where my lines are going to go because then i can i can um figure it out once i get a base um, basic idea so you can kind of see I can kind of see maybe you can't the hat starting and I'm tracing I'm just tracing it on this um, masonite board I'm gonna put his beard line just for placement and I really don't know how to um, make texture yet or anything like that but um, I think in the with the kit that I bought, she should help me with some of that. Um, I think I ordered the dragonfly. Um, it has a little scene, like a little scene with a dragonfly in the sky, and then you can cut around like some things. And I don't know. I think it's definitely going to help me. Um, learn other all right I think I will put the eyebrows and the eyes and you know I'm just following this pattern I could have made my eyes different and I should have but I liked him I thought he was super cute so I think I have enough lines on there to get me started I'm just gonna peel this off yeah and this is the back of the pewter and I'm going to emboss forward so that it pushes forward this way. Um, but you're remember that you're um, it'll be backwards. So he's flip flopped. He's not going to look like this. He's going to look opposite. So all I have is my hard board. I have five sheets of paper. It says it right there. And this is just um, craft foam. It's a thin sheet of craft foam, and it seems like that's been working fine for me. So I'm going to use my Teflon tip tool, and I'm going to start with the, the um, holly leaves and the berries. I think I'm going to do the berries with my ball and cup tool. So I'm going to just try and zoom in, but you take this ball end, and I'm just going to impress it into where the berries are. There's three of them. 
and I'm on the soft pad, but then I go on to the hard pad and just kind of take the cup tool and fit it over top. And now I have three little berries. Um, on the back though, shit, I did it backwards. I, I think I can fix it. Um, they could be indented, but that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I think I can fix it. I might be able to rub them back down and hope for the best. I'm trying to flatten them. We'll see. But pewter is very soft, so let's try it from the right side this time. Oh, boy. We might not be publishing this video, that's for sure, huh? They're going to be very bumpy berries, but I think I did it. Okay, so we'll see what they look like. Embossed from the right side this time. They look, they look round, so I fixed it. Oh boy. But yeah, you got to make sure, like if you, you have to figure out if you want to deboss or emboss, and um, I am not positive on all the techniques like I know you're supposed to flatten around everything um, anyway but there are a couple things I'm still not sure about so I really want to make sure that or I'm going to try and hopefully get some good advice from um, Alicia on her directions now these do I want to puff them out I kind of do I think I want that so I'm going to go over them from the back and I'm going to just push down with my stylus and hope I'm only on the, um, the paper so I don't want it to be too deep but I definitely want it to be puffed out and then you take your the same part oh no this is the Teflon part and you reinforce the lines that you just made Hopefully I kind of have a something that looks like a holly leaf. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just using this one. I want, I think you can, and I'm a heavy hand, so I'm, you know, I have to be careful because I push so hard. But just using a light touch, I don't want to cut through the metal. Just emboss a line and then a line and then turn it over and take the Teflon tip on the hard surface and go right up against those lines that I just made with the Teflon tip. And, oops, see that one didn't stay raised. I'll have to fix that and then go in the middle. I think that should look I guess it's hard to see when I'm um, with the bright lights and stuff, but that looks pretty good. Now I think I'm going to just, um, I think I just want to pop out his mustache. I'm going to pop out the mustache and I'm making a video. Are you guys going to play outside? Um, I should pop out his, the fur on his hat and try to make it look furry, you know? So I'm gonna go onto my soft mat. What, honey? Me and Mama, me and Daddy are going to the park. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. So from the back, with my Teflon tip on the soft um, pad, push down and really get a nice line. I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna do one thing at a time. I have to go around the hat though. I don't have to, yeah, I kind of do. Um, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to do this from this side. And hope for the best. Yeah, I'm starting to think about a lot of ideas to do with this type of um, technique, so. Now that I want to pop out. All right, so this I want to pop out. So you take the blending stump, I have this big one, 
and you just start to push the metal out and I could actually use texture like I could be maybe poking it with a smaller one but look I'm poking it out and I'm going to go to my flat surface see I should have done this first reinforced line I made and then smooth it around the edges and I can puff it out a little bit more and then back on the hard surface and soften it. So this, hmm, I want to puff out this part of the, um, so we're going to go back onto the soft pad and the Teflon tool and go around the fur. I really want to push hard so I get a think, let me look at it. I do kind of need a line over here. And then once that's done, you flip it over. I have to reinforce the line first. So I use the same tool but go up against that line on the out just on the outside edge because I'm going to puff it. So I just want to go on the outside edge right here. And then I'm going to turn it over and puff it out gently just pushing with my paper stump. They're going to go to the park. It's so nice. It's like 70 degrees again today. I just walked the dog. And that looks pretty good. So you get a little texture. Um, I think that's good. I'm going to puff out his mustache and maybe I'll just try to leave I want to deboss like go down yeah that's how I did the hat so I'm going to try and do this um, I want to use this tip I kn I'm pretty confident with this tip like I know what I'm doing with it and everything but this tip I'm not as sure about because when she did her little demo, this was more for just scratching the um, metal and stuff like that. So um, she didn't do a lot of lines like this. But that's showing up. And then see, then you're supposed to reinforce things. And so I don't know if I'm supposed to reinforce when I use it like that. I can just flatten it. You're definitely supposed to flatten everything out. Um, but you can see it. Uh, I want to do his eyebrows and I want them to stick out a little bit. So I'm just going to do an eyebrow and an eyebrow. And then go back onto your flat surface and reinforce that line. See, you push the metal down and then all of a sudden his eyebrows appear. So that's cool. Then you can, you have to press the metal down around it too. So that's cool. He's starting to come together. And then when you patina, everything starts to pop. Um, do I want to make his beard? I'm going to keep the rest of it flat. I could make his lip pop out a little. I think I'll make his lip pop. But the rest I think I'm going to do flat. And to do that I have to first reinforce the lines. 
just on the outside because I'm going to press on the inside to get it to come forward a little, like a little pouty lip, I guess. Let's see. I'll use a smaller stump. Eh, I don't know if that's good to have, but I, I, I mean, I kind of like it. It gives dimension, right? So now I need to do the mustache and the eyes. Let's see. I think I want to do them from the front. And I think I messed that up a little bit because it's supposed to be a point over there. But it's too late now. I don't think I can fix it. His eyes. I wonder if I should make um See, I have these texture things and everything. How am I going to make his um, beard have some, I guess, just scratch lines, right? Definitely want to give him some eyes, too. I think I want to make them come from the back. Um... On the soft cloth, just going to pop out the eyeball. I'm kind of try and push it back in. I could have just used my ball tool, but I wanted to see what this would do because I might try to put a little tiny dot in the middle and have it look. That kind of looks cool, actually. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try it with a dot. 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 I like it. So I'm going to put some scratch lines on the mustache. Kind of just along the bottom. And I'm going to do... I guess some on the beard too. Maybe a little. Curly cues, right? So that looks cute, right? <clears throat> now what should I do around the edge? I kind of wanted to do a scallop, like a... I have this tool right here that you like kind of roll and it makes a I think I want to do a debossed line or a, um, because I want to show you, I'm going to patina this so you can see how it looks patina. Let me just make sure this is, um, dark. Seems like it. And then see, I'm supposed to take my stump, flatten it all down, I think. I think. That is the part I'm really not sure about. <clears throat> when you use that end of the um, the tool, when you use the stylus, see we had his, I gotta pop, pop his mustache back out again. And it's cool because even though I put those lines on it, it'll still pop out. Um, just gotta go back to your hard surface and go around it again. Like reinforce around it. Flatten. I'm going to use this little one again. His cheeks look kind of cool puffy too. See, his nose could be a little puffy. But I think we're good. Um, hmm. Nothing's really going on at the with the beard. 
All right, but what do I want to do on the outside edge? You know what I'm going to do? Dots. I'm going to just put a, a line of dots all the way around it. Just like. I'm going to take a minute. And I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be on the soft cloth for this. And she does a swizzle. She does this swizzle move like that. And these um, cup and ball tools come in a lot of different sizes. There's also a set of eraser tools, which are Teflon, I'm pretty sure, Teflon tipped. And they have like more of like this type of a flat edge like this might be an eraser I don't know I haven't used that yet I just want to see if this is waking I think it is waking it's a very easy tool to use this cup and ball and it gives a nice um, te um, te texture right is that what I'm trying to say so Look how easily that, oh, that's cool. I'm so glad I'm on the right side, too. <laughs> um, it's looking cool. Uh, so, yeah, I'll finish that up, and I'll be back, and we'll do the patina. Okay, all done. I think I'm good for patina now. Um, you know, beginner that I am, I have to call it at some point and be like, yep. I'm just getting that. I think we're good. I puffed out his nose a little bit, but I think I'm ready for patina. And for that, I'm just using, my hands are going to get all dirty again, I'm using my black Posca paint pen. And this is um, 2.5 millimeters, but it's, it's one of the wider tips. I'm going to put a paper towel under me because I just don't want to get marker everywhere and I'm going to do it on the front and the reason there I marked the back because the patina evidently takes better to the front see why is that there's a bend to it um so they suggest that you make sure when you're getting your metal off the roll that you mark the back so that it's always, you know, easy to know. See, I don't want it like that. I want it down in the front, right? So, yeah, sorry. Um, just going to flatten it out all around the whole design. And maybe that'll make the beard come to life a little bit more, too. All right, I like that. Let's just do it. So you just basically cover it just like you would with um, paint from a jar, you know, regular paint and a brush. But this is just, she has um, a water-based marker that she uses, but I'm not sure of the brand. But it's water-based. It's not, because I'm going to color a few things on him. I'm going to color the berries and the um, holly leaves and um, probably that's, that's about it. Like, um, oops, I moved the paper towel. Duh. Um, color those with um, alcohol markers. I think I said acrylic <laughs> in my other video instead of alcohol, but I meant alcohol-based. Um, so Copics, Sharpies, alcohol-based markers, um, alcohol inks, all work really well on um, metals. So, and then you just wipe it off. I'm trying to get it in the nooks and crannies, but it's not cooperating. Um, but this is how I get all messy. So I just use a paper towel. And she usually pulls in one direction. So I'm just going to start wiping. And what's great about pewter is the luster that you get. I'm going to flip it around and go in this direction. Um, 
I haven't tried aluminum and you can get aluminum with um, a color coded top to it so that uh, you just sand the color coded part away and then the, the aluminum shows from under that but with the with the pewter the, the whole the bonus of it is the luster that you get um, from the metal so there's quite a bit in here um, in the tighter areas so I'm just trying to maybe the paper towel is too hard to I don't know I don't know like this is all beginner stuff for me but I think it looks good you can see all the details and then I'm gonna buff it with um, I have like a more of a towel it's just an old dish towel that I have and let's rub it with that it's cute I'm gonna get my green this is more like a Christmas green um, red these are sharpies I'm just using my sharpies because um, I have Copics but I have a million of them and to find one color it's like super hard so now I'm just gonna come in and put a little bit of green on the holly berries not the berries the leaves duh just a little and a little on the these are the berries. How about giving Santa some blue eyes? Like, I don't really have a light blue. Oh, I like this teal blue. Give him some blue eyes. How about pink lips? I have this really light pink. This was from um, Breast Cancer Awareness. And let's see what that does. It even... I think I see it, and I kind of want to put a little pinkness over here on his cheeks. <clears throat> Can you see that I put, like, little eye, I don't know what they're called. Can't really see this pink. What else? I mean, I guess his hat. I could do his hat, right? Otherwise, that's it. Just a little. Needs a little more red, doesn't it? So I think I'm going to do the hat. This is the most I've colored on one, I think. I think some of the black paint just got rubbed in it a little, but that's okay. Is that it? <clears throat> I could like, I could be texturing the background too. I'm gonna use a darker pink. I have this darker pink. I just didn't want to make them too girly looking. That's kind of pink, isn't it? I think that's just a, just enough. But that's cute, right? What should I do? I could do something to the dots around the edges. I should have, I wish I had gold. You know what, I have gold leafing. Let me see if my gold leaf, these pens don't always work for me. Is Okay, so I'm just gonna hit it around the edge and see if it takes. I think it's taken. I have to look at it at a different angle. Somebody didn't like my lighting. I forget whose name it is. Um, so I'm gonna, we're gonna work on my lighting I think. See if we can find something that's a little more, um, that does not show up at all. Let me the side. Trying to get it to come. Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. Um, 
see and it's now it's not um, just staying to the top though it's kind of went down the nooks and crannies anywho my lighting right I think it's good for me working working here it's nice but not for videos it's too glary I guess what else could I do that's it there's really no color that I can put on his beard or anything I think he looks good I'm pretty happy with it I don't like this I think I got right here this is part of his um, fur alright so that's it I gotta punch a little hole in it and that is an ornament thanks for watching